G'day guys, Ballsack here with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Uh, I put out a video just the other day showing some Sith Eternal versus Jedi Master Kenobi battles. And that had a really great response and I got a couple of team ideas which I wanted to highlight in this uh, follow-up video. So the first team is this one here which is Sith Eternal um, plus a bunch of Separatists um, which will be the second battle in the sequence. And the team I wanted to demonstrate um, whoop, to start off with uh, for today's video was Sith Eternal with Junos in Brood Alpha, Thrawn, uh, Wat Tambor, and the Armorer. Um, and this one works very similar to the battle I showed uh, the other day. Um, the idea is to get uh, the Med Pack and um, Beskar armor onto uh, Sith Eternal as quickly as possible. And this one has about the same consistency as my Knight Sister counter. Um, the other one relies on the Separatists and has a similar idea. Um, I've been toying around with linking um, uh, General Kenobi and uh, Teen Tano um, for my counters today, which seems to be working quite well. Um, it gets the ultimate a little faster than linking gas. Um, the downside is gas can then blast you apart after you hit your ultimate. Um, so upsides and downsides. So a user's choice on that one. Um, I'm going to be linking. Um, Tano today for, the, for these counters and I'll also tack on to the end a few uh, videos of the losses because um, this can go very badly wrong. All right, let's jump into the battle. Okay, so we want to give oops, the med pack over to uh, Sith Eternal Emperor. Um, the protection tech doesn't do very much for him anymore. Uh, when Commander Tano is around, um, that's one of the more recent changes. Um, and as I said, I've been linking up um, Kenobi and Teen Tano uh, for these counters at the moment. Um, it seems to be uh, a bit quicker to get to the ultimate, which is uh, kind of the um, whole point of this counter. I've also been giving the protection tech over to Geonos from Brood Alpha. Just seems to keep the Brood Alpha alive, um, which is quite helpful towards the end of this battle. Okay, so now we've got the setup done and we take a bunch of hits. And that's about how this normally goes. You lose a bunch of tunes, take a bunch of hits. Um, couldn't get out uh, the Brute that time um, because of gas, but that's okay. We just basically need to take a few hits until we get through to the ultimate. Okay, so lots of ultimate charge with lots of Tano hits. That's all right, we can take a few on the Sith Eternal. He's pretty Gucci'd up at the moment. And there we go, we've hit the ultimate um, fairly quickly on. Um, probably not the ideal timing with most of the team gone. Uh, it'd be nice if we could get out the uh, uh, Brute. Let's see if we can do that. Nope. Gas must have mucked us up again, just for the funsies. Okay, well let's get rid of uh, all the other guys. And now we link up Gas and Commander Tano, and we hope that we have enough uh, firepower to get through this, which I don't think we do, and I'm going to lose this battle. <laughs> But let's play it out. Yep, that's usually a bad sign when the first uh, move when uh, the Eternal Emperor is on his own that he gets the uh, health immunity. Yep, this has gone horribly. And it's all over. Oh, maybe not. Hang on, a slight bit of hope. Can we bring it back? Come on, give me my turn, please. Oh, as if I don't have that yet. That's all right, let's link him up again. Hopefully we can get back a little bit of something. Not really. Ooh, hurting me so bad. Okay, down to just Kenobi. Can we blast through him? Hopefully so. And that's pretty much a summary of how that battle works. Um, I'm not sure that I like it more than the Night Sister battle. Um, the Night Sister lineup seems to be, you know, as or as equally or uh, maybe slightly better uh, for my roster. Um, but yes, this counter works. I'll show now a video of the Separatist counter and then a couple of losses. Cheers, guys.